I got the kick. Psh, psh, yeah. I got the kick. Psh, psh, yeah. I got the kick. Psh, psh, yeah. Hold up, when you see me, it's a Mr. Bishy. It goes, it got a stick. What's good, TF crew? As you can see, we're back in the crib, back in the garage. A lot has changed. I'm actually just home for the weekend, but there's been a lot of work to the house. It's still a little mess right now. We got a lot of stuff going on. But um, if you watched the last video, you saw that I went. <laughs> you saw I went to North Carolina and I got a couple parts. I didn't reveal what the parts were yet because that road trip went completely left. But I brought those parts home. I'm leaving them in the garage. I'm touching them. That's funny. That sounds bad. I'm gonna get around to them later. Um, like when I get back home for the semester, like I said, I'm just here for the weekend. Got a couple more assignments to put in to my final. Then I have to, have to perform at graduation and uh, yeah, graduation and a commissioning ceremony with ROTC and band. So I got a couple more things to do before I'm home for the summer, but I'm home coming soon. Um, first things first. Gotta go through all them parts up there and get rid of it. We got rid of a lot of stuff today. We went to the dump this morning. Um, actually just got back from the dump. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these parts out of the bags that they're in. Um, and go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I'm gonna prop y'all up right here. All right. Right here we have two seal cam heads. Um, trying to tell them apart right now. I believe this one is a Y8 head, and this one is a Z6 head. Uh, so we have these two seal cam heads, both with VTEC, of course. Uh, different valve cover uses like regular, same valve cover I have my Y7. But yeah, we got these two right here. So yeah. All right. So basically, I was on Marketplace. Um, I wasn't necessarily looking for these. I was in the market looking for a new head. Um, basically my head is fine. Um, but it has the, it has a, um, one of the valve adjustment, like tap it screws, um, it's like stripped. So I did a valve adjustment, but it's not, didn't change anything. Um, essentially to change that screw, I gotta go in, check out the whole rocker arm. So by the time I go do all of that, I might as well put a new head on, right? So I was in the market for a uh, a VTEC head to do a mini me swap. Um, I was looking for a Y8 head at first, then I heard that the Z6 is actually better for the mini me, but I was in the market for both, whichever one I found. I actually ended up finding this guy, like so he was in North Carolina, which is about an hour and a half from where I was at in Hampton at the time. Um, and he was selling these for 30 a piece. Um, or best offer. I offered him 50 bucks for both of them. He said, cool, and all right, bet. Because right now, um, when the pandemic first started at the, my local junkyard, heads were $50 a piece. Um, isn't terrible, you know what I'm saying? Now, they didn't skyrocket it up to like 115 or something like that, like something crazy. Um, so I was looking on Marketplace to see if I could find a better deal, and I found it. So, yeah. So they included a couple valve cover screws with it. I don't really need too many of this, too much of this stuff. So, honestly, I might put these in my valve cover right now because the screws I got right now ain't that good. And I sold my original ones, so. But, um. I get this off of my hand. Too. But yeah, they're in good condition. Everything is good to me. I don't see any metal shaving, things of that nature, of course. They're a little dirty. They were sitting in the, like, the guy's garage. Um, he said for like a couple years, some quite some time. So of course they need a little clean up. It probably will be fine as is. But um, this one is the, let me see. Uh, okay, so I think this one's a Z6 and this one's the Y8. I'm trying to read the code. I can't remember which code was which. Um, like I said, I'll mute all of this stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is Z6 and that's the Y8 head. So this one's fine. All right, like you see, that one's good to go too. 
again, just dirty. It's like he tried to make a guy skin himself with a valve cover, whatever. <laughs> but pretty dirty, but nonetheless, good condition. So I'm stoked about this. You know, I can do this mini me swap, get a little bit more horsepower out of the, the Civic. Um, and why are VTEC? Like, who doesn't want VTEC if they have a Honda? All right. So, basically, uh, I won't be doing this right now. Um, I still have to get an ECU, uh, a tunable ECU, OBD1, um, and some kind of tuning software leaning towards. Uh, look, we'll say you do Honda out of. Of course, that's everybody's first choice. Um, I'm a broke boy, I'm a budget boy, you know what I'm saying? I've seen a couple other options, so I have Honda out of. Um, don't really know what I'm gonna go with yet, but yeah, I gotta get that first. I still have to get a, um, I should have seen if he had them. That whole trip, my head, my mind was all over the place. I should have seen if he had like the intakes as well. Um, but I gotta find one of those, a Y8 or Z6 intake, or maybe aftermarket, who knows? But we'll get to when we get there. The first step was to get them. So you might be wondering, like, why did I get two? And I'll tell you, basically, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do Y8 or Z6 for my mini me swap. Um, being that he had both, I was like, might as well get both of them, like a package deal, and I could decide. Um, still cheaper than getting one from the junkyard. Um, basically, the guy was saying that he went through a couple blocks. He, was, he had a turbo EK sedan, he said. He went through a couple blocks. Um, he ended up buying the whole motors because people just selling the whole motors. He only needed the block, so he would take the block. And he had like some heads sitting around, so he had both. Once I figure out which one I'm, I'm like I want to use, I still want to build the old motor that I have over there. So whichever one I don't use on the car right now, um, I will end up rebuilding that. Like just like doing a little slight things I can do to the head so they can handle horsepower easier and higher horsepower numbers because when the, the built motor setup, I want to put somewhere around maybe three, 400. I don't want to max it out, but I want a decent amount of power. So um, whichever one I don't end up putting on the car, um, probably this summer, shortly after I get home, once I get the ECU, uh, I, like I said, I'll be building that one. And the other one, I'll probably leave it as is, just clean it up, wire the VTEC solenoid, throw it on there and be done with that. So this TV is throwing me off because it's it's an antenna. So one time it's on and then it's not. But it was on for the dog because the dog was out here and keep occupied. But basically, that's what I got. So yeah, um, he had more single cam parts. I was the plan was to go through like his garage if there was anything else I needed. But after I had to spend a hundred, like almost two hundred dollars on a tire just to get back home, and then the time like it was. I was ready to get back, so I didn't even go through anything else in his garage. I just, yeah, I went and scratch up the bench. I did, thanks. Be all right. But yeah, so that's that. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this video. I might just upload these clips. I might save it until I get back home. I don't know, but I guess I'll catch you on the next clip, or I end up wrapping up the video somewhere else. But all right.